Hi guys, sorry I'm running a little bit late this morning. My computer just decided to do a reboot right when I uh, went to start showing the, the PowerPoint presentation. Sorry I'm running a little bit late, but probably given a, a couple of minutes for the last few people to join. Uh, so we'll just share this PowerPoint presentation. Um, just give you a way how these run. As, as per usual, we're going through licensing today. This is the probably the number one topic I constantly get asked is how does the different licensing go together uh, within uh, Microsoft Teams calling? Um, so we thought today we would go through with that. Uh, so we're going to go deep dive in into the, the licensing today. Um, so feel free to ask any questions as we go along. Um, you'll see in the there's the Q&A session, so feel free to ask any of those questions and we'll answer them as, as we are jumping through as uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will, will have questions as we jump through. So let's get started uh, as we can jump into the licensing uh, discussion. Uh, Hi guys, sorry I'm running a little bit late this morning. My computer just decided to do a bit weird. Um, right, we're not. Okay, let's get started. Um, so today we're going to cover up on a bit of the market uh, overview, um, a bit of market market segmentation, team calling. So we're just going to touch on a, a couple of base points before we jump in into the licensing, and then we'll go into licensing, where to find them, and then any Q and A's that you guys have. Uh, feel free to pump them through in Teams on your upper right corner. There's there's the Q and A. If you post your questions there, um, you can jump in and and ask them. So this was really a couple of slides I've pulled out. Just um, a couple of people have asked again about this and where we see the, the market going. And as we just jump in the licensing, I thought I'd cover off on this. This was in the webinar on Friday that you can jump online about the monetizing Microsoft Teams Teams calling. So it is a couple of slides I've, I've, I've pulled out of there and put them in here um, in where the market's going. So this graph is an actual APEC market. So that, as you can see in 2019, the Teams work collaboration app piece is, is massively growing for, for the market in, in, in Australia. It's the fastest growing market out of all the, the, the voice markets, um, whether that's CPAS, VCAS, UCCAS, CCCAS. So just to go through again what those abbreviations stand for. So CCSAS is your contact centers and call centers as, 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 as a service. Um, so that's normally in line with one of the other platforms. And then your other platforms you've got you see as a service, which is unified comms as, as a service. So this is like your single comm tools for chat, voice, basically any of your traditional hosted providers all fall under the UCAS type offering. Uh, VAS is video as a service. So this is looking at your video conferencing capabilities. So like your WebEx, your Zoom meetings, those sorts of things. CPAS is your is a kind of a new thing. It's your communication platform as a service. So this is like at and latest offering. Um, and, and obviously with uh, Switch Connect also ha has a CPS, CPAS offering. This is uh, when you're looking at developers, internal build apps, how you build that communication natively into your applications. So it's normally API driven. It's driven in, into your existing applications. So click to dial video stuff by the websites and things like that. That fall all falls under CPAS. Um, so that's a little bit about the abbreviation. But as you can see, by far, it's the migration to Teams calling is really where that highest growth for, for, for the market is. Um, a little bit around breakdown. Um, when you're talking to us at Switch Connect, this is how we view that market. Um, is kind of micro business is that sub 10 seats. Small business is that uh, less than 100 seats and so more than that 10 to, to 100. Mid market is that 100 to, to, to 1000 seats and large enterprise is, is that 1000 plus seats. And really a lot of partners are moving up that eco stack. A lot of uh, partners will have um, one or two customers in this mid or, or large enterprise that they support, but a majority is in that small micro SMB space. And really Teams fits every one of those verticals now, which we'll, we'll, we'll cover off shortly. A um, little bit around the Teams calling offering again and where that fits in. Uh, so we deliver that direct routing Teams calling uh, piece is what Switch Connect uh, delivers for you. So we kind of that bit in between the the current PSDN network and the Microsoft Teams environment, and we're kind of the middle bit that 
throws in there that dis, uh, that delivers that integration piece for you and all that enhanced uh, capabilities around contact, contact center, call recording, um, enhanced call routing, um, analog support, uh, back to email and services like that. So that's really where, where Switch Connect plugs in for you and delivers that integration piece so it becomes as, as, as a service for you. Um, high level over the Microsoft stack in where the licensing actually turns in. So obviously Microsoft Teams now is rolled out standard through all your 365 licensing now. Uh, it rolls out instead of Skype for Business now, they're actually pushing the Microsoft Teams client. Uh, and then your bolt-ons to enable that cloud phone system capability. You've got your phone system bolt-on, which is the, the, the core component requirement. And then you've also got audio conferencing, which if you're providing any external dial-in access uh, and services like that for your customers. And then over the top of that to actually deliver, once you buy a phone system, it gives you the ability to run a phone system, but it doesn't give you any of that phone number or, or dialing capability in order to get that you then need your uh, direct routing piece. So at SwitchConnect, this is the main piece we deliver for you is, is that direct routing piece to deliver that connectivity. Um, it does fall under currently the E-Series licensing, so E-Series 1, 3 and 5 uh, that you do need it. So if we jump in, I've got a new slide here um, that actually shows that licensing. So if your E1 series, which is basically just your email and, and online services, uh, you, you don't get phone system, as you can see down here, phone system or audio conferencing aren't on E1 and, e, and E3 licenses by, by standard. With E5, that's actually included as part of your E5 license. If you want those services on E1 and 3, you've actually got to buy them as bolt-ons and we'll go into shortly on, on the next slide and show you those licenses and, and, and where to find them. So that's actually as bolt-on licenses to bolt on to, to, to those services. Uh, and then uh, if you're selling the new M series licensing, which is, so you've got Office 365, which is O365, which everyone's known it as, uh, as you can see here, Office 365, you then got Microsoft 365. So your M series basically map to your M1, 3 and 5. The inclusions map exactly the same from a phone system calling perspective. The only difference is obviously you're getting some of your Windows licensing included and some of that functionality. But when you look at M135, they directly from a phone system capability map across to E13 and 5. They're exactly the same. So if you just replace the E with an M. And if you're selling in the academic scheme, so if you're selling in, into the education space, their series are called A series, which are exactly the same again. So A1, A3 and A5 which the feature set exactly matches. The only real thing that changes in the A series, they're a direct mapping across the E series, is really around the licensing piece. Um, really changes as there's a different price point and things like that. But other than that, it's exactly the same. So when, when it maps across, it'll be exactly the same within the academic, except just replace the E for an A is the simplest way. And in the Microsoft 365 series, replace the E with an M. Um, if you follow that regime, you'll, you won't run in, in, into trouble. Now, one of the biggest questions we're constantly asked is, can you deliver Teams calling on business premium licensing? Now, the official answer from Microsoft is this feature set is coming. So the ability to deliver the phone system bolt on with a business premium license is coming. The current ETA that we've been told, which is kind of the default ETA you'll get from Microsoft when you ask them about any feature is sometime this year. Now we have seen some development works if, if you follow the, the roadmaps quite closely as, as, as we do with Microsoft and some of the, the product uh, discussions we have with Microsoft is that there's a lot of back end works done to facilitate this. We have done some testing on business premium and there are uh, it does work, but it, it's still not a supported rollout. So we highly Highly don't recommend rolling it out on business premium. If uh, if it, it is a production customer, it's fine to test in, in your test labs and things like that. But from a live customer, it is not recommended to roll out as it, it's not a supported deployment by Microsoft. So if you do have any issues, uh, both Switch Connect and Microsoft probably uh, won't be able to help you as it's not a current supported deployment. But I can assure you as, as soon as we get final word, if that is supported, 
we'll be running uh, a bunch of announcements out that, that that is and also running out another webinar series on, on how to roll that out um, as soon as that comes out. So if we jump back to our licensing scheme again and we go in, so you've got your bolt-ons phone system and audio conferencing. Uh, what we just want to jump through today is where to find that in the actual Microsoft realm of, of licensing as things can be very, very difficult to find. So when you jump into your 365 admin portal and you go into purchase services, um, the actual phone system bolt-on actually comes under add-on licenses. So there's a bunch of different uh, subheadings in, in which you can buy services. So the actual phone system license, when you're looking for that additional bolt-on, it is under the add-on licenses um, uh, subheading. Uh, it is $11 per month to bolt that onto an E1 or an E3 license. So that's where you'll find Microsoft phone system um, and that will deliver you the ability to then do, oops, jumping around there a bit. Um, that will then deliver you the ability to add PSDN core functionality. But please note, many people get confused by this. Although you have this license, doesn't mean that you can ring out to the PSDN plan. You still need a, a provider, i.e. switch connect, to deliver that PSDN uh, connectivity. So you need to order them ha hand in hand uh, to deliver that, that functionality. Again, if you're looking for audio conferencing licenses, uh, in that same portal, you then get, there's another section called other licenses. If you look under other licenses, you'll then find your audio conferencing license. It is a $5.50 a month bolt on, and that will give you the ability to do audio conferencing. Now, you can bolt audio conferencing in to your 365 license. That will allow you to have a direct in dial number for audio conferencing that actually sits outside of the Switch Connect Teams calling in integration. So that is kind of like a Microsoft shared conference bridge. In the old Skype for Business days, you used to have to have a third party integrated to do that conferencing, whether it's PGI or, or Audio Conferencing Australia, someone like that to, to deliver that functionality. That is now all natively delivered through Microsoft's own, own conference bridge. It is a fantastic product if, if you've ever used it. So if you buy that audio conferencing, you can add that to your team's license without the phone system, and that will allow uh, customers to be, you'd be able to send out meeting invites. You'll have a dial-in phone number. They can dial into that to their mobile. It is a shared Microsoft number. Um, they can dial into that phone number, and then they can join your, your conference meetings. One other thing to note about that too, if the current only Australian number that Microsoft publishes is an O2 number, if you do want your own phone number, uh, go back and watch our audio conferencing and meeting room uh, webinar from last week. We actually go into how to get your own conferencing number on that uh, and, and deliver that back to that service. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. It's just a couple of steps in, in the 365 admin portal that you need to um, do, and that will give you the ability to do that. Note uh, that an audio conferencing license also comes with 60 minutes of pooled outbound calling credits that is pooled between all your 365 users. So if you did have 10 people with say audio conferencing, that would give you 600 minutes of pooled calling minutes um, across those licenses. So that is, is, is another cool feature that if you do wanna call someone from your audio conference bridge, um, you've got those minutes. It is a, a configurable setting in who can do it and what sort of numbers they can run. So if you do have audio conferencing and count make outbound, check with your 365 administrator, they might've disabled that feature. And again, go and watch the audio conferencing webinar from last week that steps you through where all those settings are. The other license we get asked a lot is around meeting rooms. So people are now starting to do conference phones in meeting rooms and video conferencing units. So there is a dedicated license for that. It is called meeting room, it's $20.60. So this is a base license, similar to like your 365 E-series plans. So the previous way to license a meeting room is you you'd create the resource account and you'd give it an E1 series plus a phone system license. Now you no longer need to do that. There is a dedicated license for it. It's called meeting room. 
Uh, it does give you Microsoft phone system license, a Teams license, and Intune to manage that base Windows box, and also an audio conferencing license. So, so it's perfect for your conference phones, your video conferencing meeting room systems, like your, your Yealink uh, MVC systems, or uh, Logitech or whichever, um, Cresta technology, whichever conferencing provider you're using. It is a fantastic license for that. Uh, and they give you all that functionality uh, to add that in as a meeting room. And where you find that is, it is under that other licensing section. So you go into purchase licenses, other licenses, you'll find that meeting room. It is $20.60. Uh, so it is a, a very, very good value license that will give you that full meeting room capability. Um, the next license uh, is we just want to cover up was on auto attendance and call queues. So when you're licensing up auto attendance and call queues, uh, there is a new license called a phone system virtual user license. This is a fairly brand new license, only came out about a month ago. Um, and this was when Microsoft made the change with auto attendance and call queues that you could uh, assign your own number to it over direct routing. So they did bring out a special license for this. It was delayed. So the previous way of licensing it again was you create the resource account, you add an E-series license with phone system to it, and then you could add a phone number. You can now swap them out for virtual user licenses. Um, so there is a limit of 20 per tenant. It is based on the number of licenses, but you can get up to 20 as, as, as your default. It is a free license, and you'll need to assign this to whenever you've got a resource account where you want to make it part of the phone system queuing. Whether it's got a number or not, we highly recommend assigning the virtual phone system license to it. Um, if you then want to have dial into that, again, you must have a calling plan through, through SwitchNet to, to route those calls in uh, to that service. But that is the free, 365, the free 365 license that you need to actually assign that and make that work. Uh, so that's it. So that's really the four kind of base licenses you need to get 365 working. So we'll just recap again. If it's an E1, if it's a one or three series license, whether that's E series, M series, or A series, you'll need the phone system bolt on as a minimum to make calls. You've also got the ability to have the audio conferencing bolt on uh, if you want that audio bridge conferencing capability. Um, and then from a meeting room perspective, you've got a base license of meeting room. And then as you move into uh, your core queue functionality and auto attendant, there is that virtual system license. So that's really as simple as it gets. Um, a lot of people have said it's very complex, but it's it's quite simple. It's as simple as that. So this webinar this week is quite short, uh, but we just want to cover off on that. A lot of people get confused around that licensing. I'm gonna have a quick check if anyone's got any questions. So far, feel free to post it in, in, in the Q&A session and we'll answer them, but there doesn't seem to be any questions yet. Uh, we're just doing up the schedule today and tomorrow for the next series of webinars for, for the next three weeks. If you did have any topics that you wanted to, uh, us to cover, please um, email them through uh, to either my, myself or Craig and more than happy to uh, add, add them to the list in topics. We have got a series going up at the end of this week to our YouTube channel that will cover off on um, kind of Teams 101 settings. So the basic functionalities that people constantly ask for is, how do you make a call in Teams? How do you update your voicemail, re-record -re your message and things like that? We're just gonna cover off on those basic topics. So we will be uploading a bunch of videos. So there will be a Teams 101 channel um, going live later this week that will have a lot of that functionality uh, as I know a lot of you guys ha have been asking, but that's all I have for today. Um, just try to keep it short and sweet today. But uh, as always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to, to send them through uh, and we're more than happy to help. But thank you for joining today. Uh, the webinar, this will be going up to YouTube very shortly after this. Uh, also, there's been a couple of requests from previous webinars to get the slide deck. So they will be in the link on the description in uh, on YouTube. So if you're looking for the actual PowerPoint deck to, to get a copy, you'll be able to grab a link from there and be able to download those decks. But thanks again, everyone for joining and we look forward to talking to you guys all shortly.